Hello, everybody. My name is Graham Elwood, and we are back in the Political Vigilante Studios somewhere beneath Wayne Manor on the outskirts of the Gotham City Limits. <gasps> Making Gotham great again. Look at that graphic pop up. Look at it pop up. It kind of makes my vegan guns look just a little bit stronger. Every I got new pull-up bars. I'm making my vegan guns. The bigger my vegan guns get, the less power the corporate Democrats and centrists have. That's a fact. Look it up. It's on It's on a website of something, of some types. Um, everyone's talking about the election, the election, the election, the election. You know what they're not talking about? Jeffrey Epstein, but you came to the right place because I will not let this go. My name is Graham Elwood. I'm the political vigilante, and I'm not going to let the Epstein story go. Jeffrey Epstein recruiter was raped before pedophile paid the teen to lure in girls. This story just came out um, today as we're learning more from the various court cases and, of course, the unsealed Jalene Maxwell uh, deposition. I've talked about, I'm going to cover it a little bit, but it's a 406 page deposition. I've gotten through a third of it or so. Um, and a lot of it is her just evading like Jalene Maxwell. He's like, were you at the house? What do you mean by house? Like it's, it's madness how, how much she's guilty and how much she's just a filthy liar. But this story is, is critical because it talks about, how they worked this monstrosity they would bring in girls this girl was brought in as a child was raped and then they indoctrinated her to go recruit other girls which is horrific and this girl has been then then what they try to do is then the police and stuff kind of vilify some of these women oh she was a recruiter she was a monster just like jeline maxwell no 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 this is a victim this is somebody, this is a child who had their innocence and everything robbed from them and then were forced because they were afraid. She says it. I was afraid. And I'm going to show you what she says in the article. And the link will be in the show notes. I'm afraid. I was afraid. Of course she's afraid. Maria Farmer said in her, her interview with Whitney Webb that she saw women just disappear. Maria Farmer asked the question, how many, how many girls did they just kill? And probably some boys too. Just, oh, they're from a poor family. We don't care. <laughs> I mean, why do you think, you know, the Clinton Foundation and Jalene Maxwell's would go scoop up poor kids? Be careful. Be careful of the NGOs. We've talked, Whitney Webber showed, be careful of the NGOs. So this woman's terrified. It's like she was raised in a cult and then was asked to do crimes and, and, it's one thing if she was a full grown adult and just came in off the street and said, yeah, I'll recruit for you. I need the money, whatever. Like she was a kid. That's not, it's not what happened to her was awful. Haley Robinson was just a teenager. When she first met Epstein, she arrived at his home to give the pedophile a massage after being told it was easy money by other girls. This is what cults do. This is what street gangs do. It's awful. It's awful. And who are the victims? The girls, all these girls. And then they make the girls do awful stuff. I mean, you might think this is a, this is a crazy leap in logic. I don't, but it's like those child soldiers in some of those African nations, these young, they put a, a gun in a 12 year old's hand and tell you better kill. And if you don't kill these people, like some, sometimes it was like, kill your parents or we'll kill you. And the kid does it. And then they're this, this child whose brain is still developing is, is, being made to be a murdering monster is it it's not the child's fault it's the monster adults it's epstein's fault it's jalene maxwell's fault that's what they did to hundreds and i mean hundreds if not thousands of young children mainly girls epstein like girls but there's no way you can tell me he didn't get boys for some of his his billionaire buddies there's no way you can tell me that didn't happen I was a teenager when I met Jeffrey and became one of his victims, but that's not how the police and the media painted me. They viewed me as guilty because I recruited other girls for Jeffrey, recalls Robson. Which I get it. If you just see this adult, this, you know, someone in their early 20s or whatever, recruiting girls, you're like, oh, the hell with her. She's guilty. You find out how it happened. You find out how they pulled her in as a child and raped her. And then indoctrinated her into this horrific global sex trafficking cabal that included people like Trump and the Clintons. Yeah, QAnon, Trump's part of it. Ah, 
Ah, QAnon, shut, 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 shut it. QAnon, you're part of a PSYOP. You're participating in a PSYOP. Easy. You're all about the facts, QAnon. A lot of girls trafficked out of Mar-a-Lago. Trump was on his plane once. Hillary was on twice. Joe Biden. They're all filthy connected. They're all filthy maggots. The ruling class are maggots. They're soulless maggots. And when these act, these victims come forward, which they're they're it's they're so brave because a lot of these victims have just disappeared. These are brave people who were put through horrific thing for no good reason, other than the creepy, disgusting, amoral, soulless desires and greed of horrific billionaires. Have I said fuck billionaires yet? There, I just did. How emotionally broken I was before I arrived at Jeffrey's mansion in Palm Beach. I had been raped. I never pressed charges or told my friends. I buried myself in drugs and alcohol to cope with my pain. This is another thing that abusers do, that predators do. They find people that are broken. This Again, the same the things with the cult. Have you been watching The Vow on HBO? They find broken souls. People who were abused as kids and and. That's what Jerry Sandusky did. He had this foundation to help at-risk youth. And when I talked to last summer, my friend, Eric Oldenburg, who was a child crimes investigator, one of the things he said, he goes, Graham, if you show me a hundred kids that were sexually abused, I, 99 of them probably came from, from disadvantaged homes. There's no parents or they were abused or, and that's like how predators do it. This kid's not getting any attention at home or he's getting, he or her, she or is getting the shit kicked out of him at home. And oh, here comes this nice adult that buys me a thing. The priests would do this. It's the same pattern. So they targeted this girl and then also thought, wow, we can use you to recruit because that's the monster. You know, a 14 year old girl is not going to, if Jeffrey Epstein pulls up, they might go, who's this creep? But a 19, 20 year old girl comes up. Hey, you want to make some money? And that girl's going to know where to find the girls that were abused. Cause it, cause a child that was raised in a nice loving home and somebody says, Hey, you want to make money for sex? And go, Ooh, that's gross. And a lot of the recruiters were trafficked themselves, except Jolene Maxwell. She's a monster. She's a monster. They need to keep Guantanamo Bay open just for her. Graham, that's too harsh. She thought Epstein might try and harm her, but then Epstein worked out a deal with the two. Epstein informed Robinson that she would be paid 200 for every girl she brought in, an offer the student couldn't refuse. We know from Victoria Roberts, Jufree, that Epstein would laugh. He laughed one time when he paid parents in France. Poor, they were poor people, working class poor people. Oh, I'll pay you to have fly your daughters out for my model training school. And he got off the phone and laughed. People, everyone's got a price. Victoria Roberts said this. Maria Farmer said this. Jalene Maxwell hated the girls, treated them like dirt. They knew how to exploit people. They're wealthy. I can get whatever I want. I can get this girl for 200 bucks. They laughed about it. They're monsters. You don't think they're monsters? This is from... This is from the deposition. So A is Jalene Maxwell. Q is the lawyer for Virginia Roberts that's asking the question, right? You're talking about 30 girls. I did not count the number of girls and I did not read the police report. I can only testify to what I read. There's a police report. This is, this is from the 2009 Palm Beach trial, about 30 girls. And she's like, I don't know what happened. I don't know what happened in Palm Beach, even though I was working there. She just, it's so, it's insane it's if it wasn't so evil, it would be fun. It's so crazy. So are you aware that police reports contain reports from 30 underage girls? I can't testify to what the girl said. I can only testify to the fact that I read a police report that stated that <laughs> see how evasive that is. Are you aware the police report said it contained 30 girls? I'm not aware of that. I'm only aware of a report that was read to me. So I read uh, what the report said that was read. Okay, double talk. Nice. Were you working for Jeffrey? 
you said you worked for him on and off until 2009. Is that correct? He got this, 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 the 2009 case started with charges and the court started in 2008. So what this attorney is doing very wisely is establishing that Jalene Maxwell knew about this, was working with, and she kept, I don't know, girl, I don't girls. I don't know what, who massages. What does that mean? What is a massage? Like literally says shit like that. I helped out from time to time. This is her constant thing, but she already, I've shown in other videos. If you go to my Epstein playlist, she, she openly contradicts herself just in the first like 50 pages. So you were working with him during the time period when these underage, and she just goes on like this, right? Here's more. And she keeps, and the lawyer keeps hammering her. And then she said, well, can you break this down? Cause I don't understand words. You know, she's, I will do that. The question is, have you ever said to anybody that you recruit other girls? Why don't you stop there? Let me finish my question. Have you ever said to anybody that you recruit girls to take the pressure off you so you won't have to have sex with Jeffrey? Have you said that? That's the question. And this is how arrogant she is. You don't ask me questions like that. Uh, yeah, bitch, you're getting deposed. It's a deposition. So you're going to sit there and you're going to answer these fucking questions, you pedophile sex trafficking monster. That's the arrogance of these people. She's in a sworn deposition. You have to answer every question. She's got her lawyer there. And, her, and throughout this, their lawyer will say, don't answer that or whatever. You don't ask me questions like that. First of all, you are trying to trap me. I will not be trapped. You are asking me if I recruit. I told you no. Girls meaning underage. I already said I don't do that with underage people. At the, Keeps going on and on. So I'm showing you the deposition to show you to give validity to what this Haley Robson has said, what she had to go through. I'm asking if you ever said that to anybody. So if I, you don't understand the word recruit, which she said, I don't, what does recruit mean? And you never use that word. Then the answer to that question would be no. I have no memory as I sit here today, having used the word, did you ever meet an underage girl in London? to introduce her to Jeffrey and to provide him with a massage. Objection to the form of foundation. This is Jalene's attorney, this Paglia Lucha guy. That's all he says, the whole object of the form and foundation. Object of the form. That's all he's got is the form and foundation of the question is a problem. <laughs> it's all he's got. Not if you're defending an innocent person and they're like, the cops are going on a wild goose chase. You come on. That's bullshit. No, that's all. That's she's guilty. Run that past me one more time. Again, is this vague to anybody? Is this question vague to anybody? Only Jalene Maxwell can't seem, has a formal education. She's a blue blood. Her dad was in the, was in Mossad. She's a socialite, went to the best schools, but she just can't seem to get these questions figured out. Did you ever meet an underage girl in London to introduce her to Jeffrey to perform a massage? Same objection. Are you asking me if I met, like she, it's, it's maddening. Yeah. Oh, there's Trump and Ivanka and Epstein and Jalene Maxwell. There's Maxwell at Clinton's wedding. You think there's a difference between these parties? Like right now everyone's dancing in the streets because Joe Biden won. What about Hunter Biden's laptop? What's on that laptop? We're going to find out. I bet you we find out. I bet you we find out before the inauguration. I bet you that's one of Trump's, I'm going to blow the world up. Is he's just going to reveal all these monsters. And he's one of them. He's one of them. Oh, wait. Giuliani, Trump, Bloomberg, Clinton. Random coincidence. These guys were the mayors of New York. You know, the, the city that was in charge of protecting Jeffrey Epstein when he hung himself with a paper t-shirt. Side note. Side note. All the times Trump is with Jalene, Jalene, Jeffrey, Jalene, there, look, boom, 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 boom. There's some creep. It's when he said, I wish her well, Jalene Maxwell. I wish her well. If I was president, when Jalene Maxwell got arrested and they said, uh, president Elwood, what do you think of Jalene Maxwell? I'd say, we're going to prosecute her to the fullest extent of the law. She's never going to see daylight again. Next question. I just like showing this one. Former head of J.S.P. Morgan Chase, former Secretary of Treasury, Epstein. Oh, Bill Gates. Said he barely knew Jeffrey Epstein. No, no, no. This guy right here. 
former uh, chief financial officer of the Bill and Melinda Gates Foundation. Oh, he does non-for-profit work. That must be good. And weird that he was executor of Jeffrey Epstein's will. <laughs> when Epstein died, the guy from the Bill Gates Foundation, the least powerful person in this photo is Jeffrey Epstein. Middle management. Why did I bring up the deposition about London? Oh, I don't know. Maybe there's Jaleen Maxwell, Virginia Roberts, and Prince Andrew all hanging out. All hanging out in London. <laughs> Weird, huh? Man, I ain't letting go of this. We can talk about electorates and where's Mike Pence been and blah, 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 blah. Yeah, Joe Biden won. He's a creep fuck. I'm going to do a separate video on Joe Biden and all of his ties to Epstein. Again. <laughs> Thanks for watching. Thanks for watching, everybody. Please hit the like button, the subscribe button. Go to patreon.com slash Graham Elwood and rockfin.com slash Graham Elwood where you can support the show. Also, I have a Bitcoin wallet, a Bitcoin cash wallet, and an Ethereum wallet in the show notes. We're taking cryptocurrency. I have a Coinbase affiliation link. We're going to be getting on some other exchanges. So that's how you support the show. Make sure you hit the subscribe button. YouTube is unsubscribing us at an alarming rate. I have a PayPal button at GrahamElwood.com. I even have a Venmo at Graham-Elwood. There's a lot of ways to support our show. We are getting crushed by YouTube. They're We've dipped under 73,000 subscribers because of YouTube. Thanks for supporting what we do.